Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Welcome to Minecraft Insider, where we dive into the latest and greatest in all things Minecraft. I'm your host, Emma. And today, we're exploring a unique approach to learning ancient history that's taking the world by storm. Imagine stepping into an immersive virtual world, where you get to create your own Roman town from scratch. Sounds like a dream come true for any Minecraft fan, right? Well, well, it's not just a pipe dream. This is actually happening in a classroom at Skidmore College, thanks to assistant professor of classics, Amy O. Amy's class, the Romans and their environment, has traditionally focused on the elite leaders and politicians of ancient Rome. But Amy wanted to change that approach. She wanted her students to focus on the everyday people who made up 99% of the Roman population. The bakers, farmers, and miners who kept the empire running. That's where Minecraft comes in. With the education version of the game, Amy's students can create their own virtual worlds, define their own objectives, and build a community from scratch. They even got to hold a virtual festival and election complete with debates and natural disasters, all within the safety of the digital world. But what makes this approach so innovative? For one, it gives students a sense of agency and control over their learning experience. In traditional classrooms, students often feel like they're following a set curriculum, but in Minecraft, they get to make the rules. And that's where the magic happens. As Amy puts it, once we got in the game, I got to know the students in a way that I wouldn't have in a normal classroom. I started hearing more from people I don't normally hear from. It's not just about learning ancient history. It's about unlocking the creative potential of her students. And it's not just Amy who's excited about this approach. Environmental studies major Kate Manor, who worked with Amy on the project, says that Minecraft provides a longer commitment than traditional teaching methods. It's an opportunity for students to dive deeper into their subjects and explore new ideas in a more immersive way. So what can we learn from this unique approach to learning? For one, it shows us that games like Minecraft can be powerful tools for education, not just for students who are naturally drawn to gaming, but for anyone who wants to learn. And it highlights the importance of meeting students where they are in their preferred modes of learning. That's all for today on Minecraft Insider. Thanks for joining me on this journey into the world of ancient Rome. And remember, there's always more to discover when you're building with blocks.